Hello creatives, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be painting this loose fun floral watercolor piece. Also today's video is in collaboration with Winsor & Newton. Let's get started by swatching our paints. I'm using Winsor & Newton professional watercolors and they are the watercolor of my choice. I use them regularly in my work. The first color that I've picked out is permanent rose. The second color is green gold. The third color is perylene green and lastly I'm also using paints grey. I'm swatching these colors out next to each other just to see how gorgeous the bleeds look because we will be maximizing um, this beautiful effect with our wet on wet watercolor technique. All right, moving on, we are using two brushes today. I'm using a small size filbert brush and a route brush. The round brush is size six and filbert is size four. So for our basic strokes, I'm just using the tip of the filbert brush and dragging it across towards its belly. And thus I'm getting these irregular petal strokes. You can by all means go ahead and create these strokes with a round brush, that is also possible. I'm going to show you in a moment how to do that. Also this is a great exercise, whenever you get a new brush just take it out and take some paint and just start seeing the kind of strokes you can get with them. You'll also notice that I'm alternating between lighter and darker values, meaning I'm using a mixture of paint to watercolor with more water and with less water in order to get these variation in different shades of the same color that we are using. These flowers basically resemble a little bit of snapdragons, I, I think. So that's what we are aiming for. Now I'm going to show you how to get these strokes with a round brush. You can see that I'm using the side or the belly of the brush and then dragging it across and coming back to a point. I'm also varying the values a lot. You can see me using darker value now. And you just want to create a variety of small and some thick and some thin strokes to create these gorgeous loose blooms. Next up, let's have a look at some of our leaf strokes. So for our leaf strokes, I'm simply stamping the brush on the paper, meaning I touch the tip of the brush and then press it down and drag it to come back to a point. That's what I'm doing. Again, keeping it very loose, expressive and simple. Don't worry um, and don't think about creating a perfect sort of leaf shape. Rather, let it flow and let it be organic because that's the kind of style we are going for today. And once again, I'm trying to find areas of the pink which are still wet, just to see how the beautiful green and pink would bleed together. And this is also our wet on wet technique with watercolors. Okay, let's get started with our actual floral piece. Um, so you'll notice that we start with very thin small tiny petals at top and then I'm going forward and alternating between these tiny thin petals and thick petals. While I'm also doing that I'm also going to change a lot of uh, the value of the different colors that I'm using meaning I'm going to go ahead and dip into the darker value of the color. Sometimes I'll go ahead and bring in tiny bit of yellow to my pinks just to make it sort of like a peach color and just the kind of strokes that we practiced I'm going ahead and creating that. Stay loose and um, another tip that I found really helps is trying to create these strokes a bit quickly that way you don't think a lot and then you're not inhibited by how a petal should look a certain way instead you're just in the flow and you're trying to capture the essence of these gorgeous petals and 
once we'll be done with painting our petals I'm gonna go ahead and find some areas which are still wet and I'm gonna add in the darker color to it feel free to mix more pigment to your paint to water ratio if it's too light and then go back in and add it in certain areas and allow the beautiful magical bleeds to happen As we come down onto our flower, you'll notice that the petals would increase in shape and size, meaning they'll become larger. Also, um, the amount of petals towards the bottom would also be more in comparison to the top petals, which were very sparse, less and tiny. So you can also simplify and think of this flower as an inverted cone shape. We start with just very tiny petals at the top and then as we come down, we start expanding our petals and increasing the number of petals as well as the size of petals. Next up, I'm going ahead with the stem. So for stem, I'm using a round brush. With just the tip of my brush, I'm gonna create tiny stem marks. I'm not going to create a straight line because that's going to look very unnatural. So I'm going ahead and slowly creating tiny strokes and joining these petals together. In the end, we'll join um, the bottom petals together and I'm going to create the stem. And you can choose to add some leaves. I'm going to be adding a couple of leaves and while you are doing that, make sure to again vary the tones and values of the greens that you are using meaning you can go ahead and add a little bit of brown towards the bottom part of the stem or you could also add some yellow to the leaves and that will add so much more life and variety. I'm actually going for a very organic leaf shape so you can see I'm not bothering to get a perfect oval sort of leaf. Instead, I'm going ahead with the flow and playing and just using my brush in different ways to get this organic shape. Next up, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create tiny leaves. So towards the top part of this flower, I'm gonna add very tiny leaves here and there. And a good tip is always start small and then you can slowly start adding them and stop when you feel that you know it looks good to you and do subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to notified and won't miss out on any content that i post and that's it i would love to see what you create if you choose to create this beautiful loose bloom then do tag me on instagram at the whimsical creative i'd love to admire and share it with others i'll see you in my next video till then happy creating